Hi everyone, this is Steve from Open Bomb. Good morning. It's January 4th, 2020, and when you sign into Open Bomb next, you will be greeted with a, a new release. Um, for the SolidWorks users, I wanted to take you through a few of the changes. Uh, when you open your SolidWorks, uh, and this video is designed to do that, when you open SolidWorks next, or you open a bill of material created with SolidWorks, you're going to be greeted with the same bill of material that you always had. This is a bomb that I created back in March, and uh, it has file name, part number, and some of you may have uh, taken a little deeper dive and figured out the file name, uh, you know, is assigned to part number beneath it and part number has been assigned to something called part number one. We realize that that's been confusing and in this release of Open Bomb, we've, we've corrected that. But it's gonna, it takes sort of two steps. Number one, we, we're releasing a new version of Open Bomb. And then the second part of that is that you'll be going through an update with your SolidWorks add-in. So I wanted to take you through that now. Um, you can continue to work in this bill of material. There's no action required from you, but if you want to take advantage of some of the newer features in SolidWorks, we highly recommend that you, uh, that you update. Matter of fact, I, up, I recommend that you update the SolidWorks add in immediately. Um, and let's go through that. So again, this is the latest version that will be uh, out later today. It has some new features uh, like new um, inf item info and other things that are described in the what's new. Um, I'm not going to focus on that though. What I am going to focus on is SOLIDWORKS. So when you start up SOLIDWORKS and open that that assembly, in this case I've got this clutch pack, you're going to see a new button here for update add-in. So I'd like you to go ahead and click that. We're going to move to the latest version of, <clears throat> of the add-in. So um, let's go ahead and do that. This is an unscripted video so it's just going to get, uh, we're just going to kind of get what we get here. Let's go ahead and close SOLIDWORKS. in just a second and we will start SOLIDWORKS again. I hope everyone's having a nice uh, new year. Okay. see the latest uh, add-in of, uh, of Open Bomb, and let's just kind of remind ourselves of what our bill of material, uh, what our bill of material looked like. Now let's go ahead and update this. I'm just going to click the. Uh, no, I'll, I'll check my settings. Let's go ahead and update this bomb. doing now, what the new add-in is doing is reorganizing that part number file name issue so that you have, now we're going to have a bill of material. I might have, have some new uh, uh, properties or things in here as well, okay. But you're now going to have a bill of material for the same, for the same set that has part number um, and part number, if you dive down deep into it, is going to be equal to part number. There's no trickery going on with the naming. Um, it's going to have file name and likewise, likewise file name. We dive down into it is file name. Again, no reassignment there. And then also we've added another column for the configuration name and the configuration name is, is the configuration name. So before we used to lump those together kind of in a single property and, uh, and now we don't. So uh, as you assign catalogs and do other things, you'll see that this part number column is going to be consistent. So I encourage you to uh, update to the latest version of the SOLIDWORKS add-in uh, immediately. All your data will be it is safe and will be reorganized in a manner that's much easier to use. I hope this is helpful. Um, of course, we look forward to hearing you from you at support at openbomb.com. Thank you.